So we fit versus Roy. I did hear Zomba talking uh, outside earlier. He's like, you know how you ledge trap with uh, Roy is you neutral air and then forward tilt, and that's it. So I don't know. John Numbers is one of those players where his ledge trapping the guy is shockingly difficult. So let's see if that classic strategy of if he's dead. He's oh. alive. Yep. John's oh, dead. Why are you? John's why alive. He almost died. That is definitely not following the script. Oh, <laughs> you went backwards from that end without a jump? All right. All right, so yeah. Um, as far as characters are to be concerned, where a lot of people are more familiar with Zombies, uh, Roy, uh, or rather is Rob, rather. Roy is a character he's played a lot of, very confident in certain matchups. And as you brought up earlier, trapping at the ledge with Roy, not the easiest of feats against John Numbers, but if he does manage to catch him out at the ledge, doesn't matter if there's deep breathing, doesn't matter if there's sun salutation, doesn't matter if John keeps all of his moves fresh, he's still gonna get popped like a balloon. Yeah, and I mean, one of the advantages of playing Roy, at least in this matchup, is that you won't be tempted to go off stage against John. You know that it's never a good idea. As opposed to Rob, you're like, oh, he's down there. I can maybe go up and then he gets side. Moved. So, you know, by removing the temptation because it's a terrible option, he won't get trapped by it. Like, going deep with Roy can get you, like, so much. Like, he can extend his damage really well. He can net a kill. But it's just not worth the the effort that you put in for trying to chase John, especially while John's got a lead. Especially. Ooh, jab to side B. That's some really solid damage. Almost takes John Numbers' stock completely. But he's alive, which means that John, against John with a lead, is, oh, he's dead. He's freaking dead. <laughs> yeah, I told you not stage. to do it. I said it was the worst idea. <laughs> Look at his yeah, face. Yeah, idea. He knows it. He knows that he made the oopsie. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> John, he knows he made the oopsie too. Oh no. <laughs> Poor Zimbabwe, what happened here? Which one? All right, and we're actually having the Rob for game two. I couldn't agree with this. Oh, I like this. He's just not going to approach, so he just spams Crouch in an attempt to get John to come to him. But John doesn't have to come to him. So you know John's not going to approach if he doesn't need to. A lot of people, when you start spamming Crouch, they just come to you. Oh, well, yeah, it's, it's a legitimate on. strategy, <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. All right, so Zama just kind of flying right into that up smash. I feel like he just tries to break things down to playing at his own pace a little bit slower, because you know that John's not going to really change his game plan. But just change it up so that you become more comfortable in that game plan. He's not going to throw himself into so many dangerous situations. Now, uh, I'm actually unsure on the exact... How old is Zamba? Because he's a young player, right? He is young, I know. A lot of people joke around saying he's of the 12 to 13 range. Last I checked, he's like slightly older than that, but not by much. He's a young lad. He's got a lot of time to himself. I guess in the grand scheme of New York, he's, he's still a fatty, so that's what really matters. Yeah, but he has just amazing results already with uh, at such a young age. And he's going against one of the oldies. Old Guard versus New. Ugh. But Old Guard is actually keeping pretty fit. Yeah, I mean, now that Numbers is back on WeFit Trainer confidently, it's been reflecting very well in his wins and his results. He, he was never meant to play a top tier. It just wasn't in the cards. <laughs> it's not his blood, man. Nah. Wow, still not enough. 215% onto this Rob. But you know, the funny thing is I take back whatever I was going to say. Never mind, I'm gonna say it like I was before. Uh, I don't, John doesn't feel like he's in that much danger against a Rob like this. Rob is kind of difficult for him to just, okay, kind of difficult for him to just get kills in neutral. Uh, and so John, who's especially careful in neutral, is just I, 81%, why? Can't yeah, man, this is not the kind of match where you can try to dictate what's supposed to happen, because it's just too chaotic. I you mean, know there's gonna be a lot of damage on the board, you know it's gonna be kinda zany, but like, in this kind of a situation, you just have to follow the flow of it because Numbers is going to want to try and stay as passive as he can. 
Oh, but you also oh. oh, hold on. We're staying alive. He's got enough fuel. He's good. He's chilling. You just have to wait for numbers to snap because once he does, you know he's dealing a lot of damage. We fit put out numbers really, really well. Zama looking a little frustrated, but I would too if he keeps on getting juggled. And this is one of the, the major faults of Rob is just that he's a big boy. He's going to get hit a lot. And he's going to get hit quite easily. A character like We Fit, where one of her major drawbacks is the fact that she's so particular with her hitboxes, doesn't matter as much. Oh, oh the back not the that one. Air. Yeah, that's oh. not it. John, he reaches for that. He reaches for it, but we're in top eight. This is best of we had a five. Yeah, man. He didn't realize he made it this far. <laughs> but that does mean that, do you think we're going to see a switch off of the Rob? Because both the Rob and the Roy struggled about equally. Do you think that we might go back to the Roy? Or is there another third character that he has that we could possibly try? Hey, <laughs> there it is. You have a little Look smirk before the Palu. <laughs> okay, here's the thing, though. So, yes, Palu's great, and Palu, you can pick her up, and, you know, sometimes it just works. But if you don't know about how to hit a crouching Wii Fit, you get destroyed. The, it's like one of the funny things this character really has in the matchup. When Wii Fit crouches, she dodges, like, dash grab and dash attack somewhat inconsistently, but for the most part, I think it has to do with her shifting her box when she does push-ups, you know? It but, is uh, worth noting, though, that even though this is a character that... I don't think has like a more permanent spot in Zamba's lineup. He does play with uh, Frozen often. So he's very aware of what the character is supposed to do, what the character looks for, how to execute basic bread and butters. But he might not be familiar with what the character is supposed to do in this matchup. And that's one of the that's things. That's very true. Because the, the funny thing is, Palutena can't do her normal Palutena things against Wii Fit so easily. We saw early on, Auto Radical was destroyed by Sun Salutation. We haven't seen it yet because he hasn't really been going in for dash grabs or dash attacks. But if he wants to play more grounded, Wii Fit can just crouch and borderline nullify that. And it's like, even if you're aware of that, you. It's hard to really be... Oh, okay, never mind. Ooh, he got punished for running right off stage. It was an instant punish, too. Good on Zama to try and tie things up a little bit more. But yeah, we, we're already seeing a lot of what you're, uh, what you're putting down. <laughs> you know, <so> I, <laughs> like okay, so he to... does... <laughs> He's just chilling. He's booling, man. Oh, he actually... John definitely had that punish, but he was a little bit late to react. Uh, good dude. Good job going for the multi-hits. Oh, bad job getting hit by that, though. Right back at him with the spike. You know, it's not too often that these two run into each other in brackets, so like... I mean, Zoma doesn't come to Zeno that often. No, he? Staten Island's a bit out of the way for the lad. He does appear for the Sagas. I know he has good attendance for those. But it's not often that you get a chance to fight numbers, so you can't really rack up that kind of experience against numbers. And thanks to the rings, once again, saving a target. He got caught out on the start of four too. That is just gross. Yeah, this feels like you can see the expression on Zomba's face. He's kind of just going through the motions at that point. And did you know that Palutena and Nair can lose to things? Sometimes it do be like that, and it definitely be like that for John Numbers as he takes a solid three over Zomba. Yeah, he's going to be moving on in the winners bracket side of things. I think that guarantees him a place in winners finals. We're living in the age where John Nevers is in his finals again. Uh, Some would argue he's a good time. Sinji's on the other side, right? So he can still have the old glory days of number Sinji for three sets. It's possible. I know.